It's a mess how the world thought the ship was stolen. A congressman asked the U.S. government to donate the guided missile cruiser USS Philippine Sea, CG-58, to the Philippines if it gets decommissioned. Now, bro, this isn't just any ship. This is a Ticonderoga-class cruiser, one of the most powerful vessels in the U.S. Navy's arsenal. Its potential acquisition would be extremely important and relevant, especially considering the ongoing territorial issues in the West Philippine Sea. The timing couldn't be more critical, given the increasing presence of Chinese ships and their aggressive posturing in the region. If we get this ship, it would dramatically boost our naval capabilities and demonstrate that we are serious about defending our maritime claims. It's not new for the Philippines to receive equipment from the U.S. through programs like Excess Defense Articles EDA. In recent years, we've acquired everything from aircraft to patrol vessels, sometimes as grants and other times through purchase agreements. But the USS Philippine Sea is a whole different ballgame, bro. We're talking about a guided missile cruiser, not just some ordinary vessel. This ship is equipped with Advanced Aegis Combat Systems, SM-2 surface-to-air missiles, Tomahawk cruise missiles, and other cutting-edge weaponry. It's designed for complex naval warfare, able to engage air, surface, and submarine threats. With this cruiser in our fleet, we would be on another level in terms of firepower and defense capabilities. Just imagine, bro, this ship operating alongside our frigates, patrol vessels, and other assets in the West Philippine Sea. It can conduct long-term operations in open waters, staying out there for extended periods, which would give us a significant advantage in defending our maritime territory. Plus, the cruiser has sophisticated radar and sensor systems that can track multiple threats over a large area making it the perfect tool for monitoring and responding to incursions by hostile forces. Right now, China is stepping up its militarization of the region, building more outposts and deploying more ships. The presence of a ship like the USS Philippine Sea in our Navy would send a strong signal that we're not just going to sit back and let them push us around. But beyond just its firepower, bro, it's also about the strategic and symbolic value of having a ship like this. It would show that the Philippines is committed to modernizing its navy and taking a more active role in securing its maritime borders. This ship is capable of command and control operations, making it the ideal platform for coordinating joint missions with our allies like the US, Japan, and Australia. In today's volatile geopolitical climate, the Philippines needs to strengthen its defense ties with these countries to counterbalance China's ambitions in the region. The USS Philippine Sea would serve as a force multiplier, not only enhancing our own capabilities but also integrating us more closely into the wider regional defense network. Of course, bro, this won't be easy. Acquiring a high-value asset like the USS Philippine Sea would require a lot of political will and diplomatic effort. The US government has to agree to decommission the ship and then donate or sell it to us under favorable terms. There's also the matter of maintenance and training. Keeping a cruiser like this operational isn't cheap, and we'd need to invest in the infrastructure and personnel required to maintain and operate it effectively. But if the Philippine government is serious about defending our seas and ensuring the safety of our maritime territory, this is an opportunity we cannot afford to miss. In the end, bro, the potential acquisition of this ship isn't just about securing our present-day defenses, it's about preparing the Philippines for the future. The next generations of the Philippine Navy will benefit from having more modern and advanced ships in their arsenal ships that can match or even surpass those of our adversaries. Imagine our Navy, not just standing guard but taking a proactive role in regional security, patrolling the open seas, and ensuring that our maritime rights are upheld. The Philippines would be better equipped to respond to threats, secure our resources, and safeguard our national sovereignty. So, if we can pull this off, bro, it would be a massive win not just for us now, but for the generations to come.